hello guys and of course welcome back uh it's 2022 and it's october uh that is of course just for reference purposes in case you find this uh video no longer relevant as time goes by well um let's look at the market and that market is handicap but as usual i will make an example with a match i will just select a match to make that example let me select a match i don't know why these matches are still appearing here uh, maybe I need to refresh this page because these matches have long uh, finish. Let me rather choose Barcelona as it is playing at 9 o'clock. So handicap. Not just any handicap. Uh, that's the market that we want to look at. Not just any handicap but corner handicap. So I'll just select on all markets. All markets. Uh, there's a normal handicap. The one that you know. But now we're looking for corner handicap. So I'll just select on more. And then I'll go down, look for that corner handicap. Uh, okay, it's not there. Just click on more again until you get to that. Okay, I, it's, okay, there is it, there is it. Corner handicap, there is it. Let me quickly explain something here. And the good thing about this corner handicap, it has that CO. You see that green CO? All the markets that have that, those are good markets. Not necessarily good markets, but those are markets that you should bet on because they have a cash out option. Meaning, if you are losing, you can always cash out. You know what I mean? Maybe four or five matches that you've bet, three of them are in. The last one you feel like you will lose, then you can simple cash out. You can even cash out when the match is live, you know? Simple, so that you can save yourself some money and take out the legal profit that you have. So, let's get back to this handicap thing. I'm sure by now you understand what is a handicap. Not just a corner handicap, but a handicap. Basically, a handicap is giving advantage to one team. You know, basically giving them a head start. I'm sure by now you understand that. So, let's just explain it now in terms of a corner handicap here. Barcelona is playing against Athletic uh, Bilbao. You know? So, if, for instance, we select this. Let's select this. Uh, Barcelona minus 0 0.5 in terms of corners now we expecting now barcelona to have uh basically minus 0 0.5 it's like one just um just do what uh, what you call uh, to the nearest uh to the nearest whole number everything that has 0 point something just make it a whole number so that you don't get confused because 0 point minus 0 0.5 there's no such thing as a corner of 0 0.5 a corner is one it's either it's one or two the whole number so minus 0 0.5 it's basically minus one and uh, minus 1.5 it's basically minus two you know minus 2.5 it's basically minus three if you do it like that it will help you so who will win now in terms of the corners basically who will have more corners between barcelona and athletic bilbao so if you're saying Barcelona, of course, will have more corners since Barcelona it's a good team and it's a favorite team in this case because Barcelona it's a favorite team in terms of odds and everything. Of course, we do expect Barcelona to attack, attack, play attacking football as a result, um, getting a lot of corners. So we expect at least Barcelona to have more corners than uh, than Athletic Bilbao as Athletic will not attack too much. So that's our assumption. Eh? It's football. So. Let's say maybe you want Barcelona to have maybe you feel like Barcelona might have maybe six corners in this match and Athletic Bilbao might have only three. So that means if you bet this, if you bet this minus one, what you are doing is you are still backing Barcelona. You understand? You are saying Barcelona will have more corners even though you are minusing that 0 0.5 as i've said this is one eh? it's not 0 0.5 as i even though you are minusing one from their total corners but still barcelona will remain with more corners than athletic bilbao so if for instance the example that i've just made that barcelona might have six corners and athletic bilbao will have three corners so in that case now if you select this thing it simply means that barcelona uh, will, you will minus one from those six corners of Barcelona and then Barcelona will end up having five corners and Atletico Pilpalomos on three corners. So it means it's still a win for Barcelona. You know what I mean? It's still a win. Unless otherwise you selected this one now. Let's just unselect this. You're saying minus two. 
this is not minus 1.5 it's minus 2 as i've said before so because you see big odds so it's thought of now nah, let me say minus 2 so let's say Barcelona still have six corners and uh, Athletic Bilbao have three corners at the end of this match. And then you minus two from Barca. How many corners will Barcelona have? Barcelona will end up having four corners and Atletico Bilbao will have three. Meaning you still win. So that's a good one. So this market now, to sum it up, this is a good market, guys. Uh, the reason why I'm saying it's good because how often... Do you find favorite teams uh, getting less corners than the, you know, than their opponents, you know, especially when they are heavy favorites? For instance, if you say Madrid versus Sevilla, Madrid versus Sevilla, you expect Madrid to have more corners than uh, than, than than Sevilla, you know, and imagine you expect it to be more than one, more than two, you know what I mean? Imagine meaning that if Sevilla have four corners, you expect Madrid to have maybe six, seven corners, meaning that you can still bet this. You know, you can bet this to be safe, just minus only one, so that you don't, you know, you, it's football at the end of the day, you can lose. But I guarantee you, this is a good market, this corner market, um, especially for for, 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 for for top teams, you know, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid, you know, every week most, there's, if, if there's week, uh, what do you call this, if there's uh, matches, you know, on all the leagues, you can choose those top teams and play this market and see what you will get. Let's just make a typical example. Let's say, uh, because I like these odds. Let me see if you can get at least these odds for five teams. Let's say you've bet, oh, six teams because there's six. Imagine, six teams. And look at this. It's only corners, you know. You don't have to look for the score. You don't have to worry about goals. Look at those odds. Look at those. And for sure, you can get 13%... Um, 13% uh, increase here in terms of uh, what do you call that? 13% bonus. So that's 1.2. Uh, so that's 9.2 plus 1.2. Look at this. These odds are super good. And then you can just place your 200 bucks here. Yeah, look at that. It's nice 2000, guys. Guys, let's look at this market. I'm not saying the odds will always be like this. I'm not always saying the odds will always be like this. I'm not sure what will the odd uh, be for other top teams. Let me just have a look. Let me just have a look at these top teams. Uh, let me just have a look. For instance, uh, who is this? I'll treasure. No, this one, this match has already started. For instance, Ostend, yeah. Ostend, eh? Nah, Ostend is not a... Uh, oof, I'm looking for top teams, man. I don't know why I can't find them. Okay. Let me see. Roma versus... Um, Roma versus Napoli. I think Napoli has an upper hand when it comes to Roma. They are both good teams, but uh, I think Roma has an upper hand. Let me see popular ones. I need, let me just see all. I just want to see. Just want to see what I'm talking about. I don't want to speculate about these odds. I doubt if they are always there on that range of 1.45. But I believe they are always good, man. Let me just see. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Where is Napoli? As Napoli is, uh, look at that. Look at that. Napoli has an upper hand against Roma. As a result, I think they must have an, a high number of corners compared to Roma. I'm, that, that's just my assumption. I don't know. I didn't check their stats yet, but that's my assumption. But look at the odds, guys. Imagine if Roma have, at the end of this match, have only maybe six corners and then Napoli's eight corners. And then when you minus one, then you'll have end up on seven corners for Napoli. And you'll still win. You know? So, guys, this market is a market for consideration, guys. I'm not saying, look, it's a it's a final, uh, what do you call this? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a market that is superior than the others if you have a better option. But all I'm saying is have a look at this market and try it out, guys. And when you're trying it out, guys, I haven't tried it out myself, but... All I'm saying is when you're trying it out, try it with big teams, you know. I'm trying to look for big teams here. Yeah, I can't find them. Maybe they are finished, the matches, man. Oh, I think there's another one. Uh, Villarreal versus uh, UD Almeria. You can see there, Villarreal is a heavy favorite compared to this team. You can see also the odds suggest. So let me just click and see what are the odds. I just want to see, like, the, 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 the odds for these, you know. just want to see the odds. Let me just click on combos. No. All. Oh, it's a pity now. This match, 
have started already. I don't know how come these matches have started already, but I see this. Once you see these greens, the tabs are so like this, it means it's already live. It's regarded as live match. So some markets won't be here. Look at this. Where is corner handicap? Okay, it's not here. First half corner. See now, it's not here. Yeah, it's not here. That corner handicap. And that's and that's just another thing. Maybe it's because this one is regarded as a live match. But that's just another thing with the such market. Such markets, you don't always find them on every team. Let me see. Let me just prove that. Let me check here. Ostend versus this team. Let me just check this. You don't always find this. Oh, I don't know what am I doing now. All. You don't always find this corner handicap in all these uh, matches. You know, in all these teams. Even these unknown teams. Sometimes you only find that corner handicap on on big leagues only. Maybe English Premier League and uh, Spanish League. And uh, you know all those top five leagues. As a result, you can see I can't find it here. Look at this. I can't find it here. I can't find that corner handicap. So that's just another now downfall of this market. This is another downfall of this market. It's not on every match. Yes, that's just another downfall. Otherwise, it's a good market, guys. It's a good market, but that's just another downfall of it. It's not on every match. You know, it's probably on only on on the top um on the top uh, five leagues. You know, top five leagues only i doubt if it's everywhere let me just see if it's it's also available in in france because france i think it's regarded as the top five leagues it's on the top five leagues let me just see uh all markets let me just scroll down and see if it should be here because this is regarded as one of the not top leagues but yeah i think it's there uh-huh let's see yeah, there it is, corner handicap. You see here, yeah, also on France, it's here. You will probably find it on France teams as well. So at least you have options, guys. You know, there's quite those are quite a lot of matches. English, Premier League, France, Spain, Bundesliga. I'm not sure about the last one now, which is the Netherlands League as well. You know, that's also, you know, one of the leagues. So you have five leagues for now. Italy, Bundesliga, and so on and so forth. So yeah, guys that's the feedback uh that I, that's the vibe that i'm getting here uh, i don't know what will be the feedback from you whether this is a good market or not but that's it guys i'm out this is a good market that's my uh my final say if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment below and tell me what am i missing out your comments make me better